Hello everyone and welcome to the fifth episode of Pixel Distorts. Today I'll be going through a magic plugin for GIMP. It's called Gmic or Gimic. I don't know how you pronounce it, but but uh, it's this. I'll give you the link to install this plugin in the description, and it is uh, a very useful plugin in my opinion. So if you have an Ubuntu Linux system, this is how you install it. You have a ready-made PPA for you all. However, if you are on different platforms other than Ubuntu, you can install Gimmick by going to um, gimmick.sourceforge.net slash gimp.shtml this is the gimmick plugin for GIMP and you have installers for Windows Linux 32 and 64 and uh, gimmick for gmic for GIMP for Mac OS 2 so that is about gimmick I have already installed gimmick in my system so I just need to open that up so today's tutorial is about bringing out those little tiny freaky little details out of that image out of your image so that you can have um what do you say uh okay i don't say i I'll, ju I'll just demonstrate you so that is a better way of doing things so i'll just open a up an image i'll be opening up uh, or uh, an image of uh, US Marines this spec uh, uh, it looks good this kind of uh, gives a nostalgia of accomplishment so this it 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 is a pretty good example to demonstrate um today's tutorial so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna rename this first call it face okay what i'm gonna do is you see this if i zoom in a bit see these uh, uniforms of these soldiers or their faces or the ground or the dust itself it doesn't feel that um, it doesn't feel that much detailed so my intention today is to bring out those details to just highlight those details a little bit more so that it feels uh, pretty freaky yeah that is what, uh, what it is called it's called freaky details plugin so i'll be using two methods to do the same thing the first is the longer method and next is the shorter method so i'll just start with this okay I have my image loaded up I I need to duplicate this first I'll call that the duplicated layer as temp oops okay I call it as temp what I am gonna do with this temp layer is I'm gonna invert the colors of that temp layer so I go to into colors and click on invert there you go I have an inverted image what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna apply a bilateral smoothing to this image. You don't have um, bilateral smoothing in inside your filters folder at all because it doesn't come by default in GIMP. But if you have installed GIMMIC or JMIC, um, you can just open up JMIC and apply that filter your image so it is located under repair smooth bilateral there you go so I, I'll need uh, I'll um, change a couple of things here I'll change the spatial variance and the value variance I have absolutely no idea what these mean but I just experimented uh, with these two things and I did find that uh, 
a good value for these things is that I, I'll give a spatial radius of 22 and for this image it depends upon the image if you have a different image it may be a bit different for your image so my experimenting proved that uh, spatial variance of 22 and uh, value variance of 18 or uh, 17 or 19 I'm going with 19 for now also uh, spatial variance of 22 and value variance of 19 worked out best for me so I'm just gonna click on up apply for now you can see what will happen it takes a bit of time so you'll have to bear with me um, mm, okay so I'll uh, by, by the time that happens I'll just explain about the interface of gimmick jmic whatever okay I, I have the list of available filters here and they are nicely categorized into different uh, sections can I can just uh, open up a section and click on a filter and change some values and click on apply that is a basic uh, thing about jmic and if you'll notice at the left you have a preview over here you can move around the preview using this button and you have a zoom in and zoom out here and this thing you have various uh, input output modes so what layers should be your input what layers should be your output and things like that you can give an output message and you can give a preview of that output and you can set a preview size and if you look at these things you can uh, I think you can add a uh, I don't know what that is okay you can add a filter okay you can add a fav uh, filter to your favorites okay so that is about that button and you can delete a filter here and there's an additional button here uh, it's a refresh button if you have this internet uh, option ticked when you click on refresh it will download the latest version of gmic for your GIMP so that is a handy button over there and uh, this thing it will just open out this session so that we can uh, easily find our required filter so that is about gmic plugin and as you can see my uh, bilateral smoothing has finished working uh, finished applying and this is the result of this and the next thing I'm gonna do is without closing gmic I'm going into layers under blend standard I'll under layers we have this blend standard uh, filter I'm gonna just click on that filter and I'm gonna change the blend mode to vivid light and this blend mode uh, wasn't available in GIMP till now you only have these blend these many blend modes so I'm gonna select the vivid light blend mode and uh, if you look down here we have some information over here and it gives a note this filter needs two layers to work properly set the input layers option to handle multiple input layers I think I'm gonna do that now so to do that you have these drop down menus over here and this will select all the input which I need to apply this plugin so I'll just select all visibles I want these two as my input to this plugin so I'll just select all visibles and the output mode I wanna I want the output to be on a separate layer so I'll just go there and click on new layers so with that done I'm almost ready to apply this filter and after I do that I'll just click on apply and it will take some time to apply it Yeah, there you go you have that thing applied then the next thing you're gonna do is click on OK so you have a mm, funny image over here it looks a lot funnier okay now uh, 
I'm gonna delete this temp temp layer. I don't need it anymore. I'm gonna delete it. Okay. Next thing I'm gonna do is the last step of this. Just go to mode and click on overlay. There you go. We have all those freaky details coming out now. So if I zoom in on this person, you can see you don't notice a lot of difference uh, right away. But if you compare it to the original image, you'll be like, "Wow, how did it? Ha how did that happen?" So I'll just zoom in on this person and just gonna show you the before and after. This is before. No, looks so smooth and all, but this is the after. All that freaky little details coming out. So this looks like a heroic scene from some kind of a movie. And that was our intention. That was a Hollywood style freaky details tutorial. So this is one method of doing it. The other method is, I'm gonna close this. The other method is kind of straightforward. Oops, I opened, uh, I opened up Blender. And by the way, while I'm at Blender, this is one of the uh, software I'll be using in my tutorials in, in my later tutorials so be uh, so, uh, so stay tuned okay I'm just gonna close this blender I'll open up GIMP again I'll open up the same image or maybe a different image this time okay I think I'll go with a different image I'll open up this image for the second method and this is a straightforward method nothing big about this so I'll wait for the image to load up so I have uh, my image over here and I'll apply uh, freaky details to this it's pretty straightforward go to gimmick gmic I think uh, gimmick sounds better <laughs> I don't know it's just sounds better so I'll, I don't know where that was details yeah under details you have a plugin called freaky details and the default settings would per, uh, work properly so I'll just click on apply and it should it should do the work so this is for the less professionals you have a straight no uh no hassle free hassle free uh filter you can apply or you can choose the first method for the more professional guys who need more control over the image so that's about freaky details i'll just show you the output and that will be the end of this tutorial I'm just waiting for it to finish okay I'll come back after it finishes I'm just gonna pause it. okay so that plugin has been applied so I'll just click on OK and there you go you have those little freaky details from every corner of your image visible so I'll show you the before and after and uh, in this I don't have multiple layers created it just did all the stuff and merged it into a single layer so I'll just go to undo tab and zoom in a bit and this is this was before so so uh, smooth and it doesn't show much but so this is the after okay, as you can see it does a pretty good job it just shows out the details a little more so that's it that's about little freaky Hollywood style details so until next time see ya